The Bayrechter TB2 is a medium altitude long endurance, male unmanned aerial vehicle you give capable of autonomous or remotely controlled flight operations. It is produced by the Turkish company Baykar Makinis NAV Ticker A, S, mainly for the Turkish Armed Forces. The TB2 is a medium altitude, long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, UKIM, with a 21 foot long mixed wing body and inverted V tail structure. The TB2, with a 39 foot wingspan, relies on variable pitch, two blade propellers, and a thruster configuration to develop. The strut is at the rear of the fuselage between the two boom tails. A 100 horsepower Rodax 912 internal combustion engine drives the stand. Ukraine was the first country to buy the TB2 in 2019 and has ordered at least 36 drones so far. Last month, its defense announced the arrival of a new drone delivery. Barrector TB2 has a sophisticated design that provides all the solutions an operator needs in an integrated system. This system consists of Barrector TB2 armed ground control station, ground data terminal, remote display terminal, and advanced base with generator and trailer module. The fuselage is constructed primarily of carbon fiber composites. The internal bladder tank holds 79 gallons of fuel. The TB2 has a cruising speed of 70 knots, a maximum speed of 120 knots, and a respectable range of up to 4,000 kilometers. This drone can operate for 27 consecutive hours. The drone's service ceiling is 25,000 feet, but the ideal operational altitude is 18,000 feet. Western and Ukrainian officials have praised Turkey's Bayraktar TB2 drone for its role in countering Russian attacks. Last month, British Defense Secretary Ben Wallace reportedly told British lawmakers that the drone was delivering ammunition to Russia's artillery and supply lines. TB2, the long-range endurance drone, mail, has been in operation for many years. It's been used by the Turkish military in northern Iraq and Syria since 2014. More recently, it has been credited with helping balance in conflicts such as Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh, but a video released recently by the Ukrainian military showing its attacks on Russian military targets has gone viral, bringing it into the spotlight again. This drone is a tactical unmanned aerial vehicle that can carry out intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, as well as armed attacks. The onboard avionics suite with triple redundant avionics system includes units that allow the drone to take off, land and carry out missions independently. TB2 is recorded to have had more than 200,000 operational flight hours. In addition, this drone also holds the record in Turkish aviation history in terms of endurance reaching 27 hours 3 minutes and altitude reaching 27,030 feet. TB2 strikes again on Snake Island overnight. Satellite images of a missile attack on Russian troops on Snake Island emerged, while 1,945 was unable to independently verify the authenticity of the images. They do appear to show the lethal results of another Baker Bayraktar TB2 drone strike. Images appear to show a missile attack on a Russian Cerna-class landing ship near the island, Smoke Lane, and Sunken Ship. The missile attack was likely the latest in several incidents involving the TB2 drone during the Ukraine-Russia conflict. Turkish company Baker Bayraktar, under the guidance of founder and MIT graduate Selkuk Bayraktar, developed the weapon which first flew in 2014. 